Answers and some closure in a gruesome murder mystery that's gripped the Milwaukee area for more than a week now. Human body parts have been found at least four separate times in Milwaukee County in less than a week. And as of right now, authorities have not said if these cases are linked. It's, it's heartbreaking. I cannot, I don't even have the words for it. A series of gruesome discoveries in Milwaukee County, leaving many people speechless. Police on four separate occasions finding human body parts and remains. It was real sad, sickening. What kind of monster is that that could do that to somebody? While a concerned family was looking for a missing woman, body parts were turning up all across the city of Milwaukee. Sick son of a Hurt my baby. Sheena Scarborough did not hold back. This sick son of a on a baby. What a do something like this to my beautiful baby. She hurt nobody. Me and my family would never be okay. Imagine trying to bury your niece with nobody for the service. Just knowing that somebody is out here dismembered is really it's unsettling. Out of the city. It's crazy. It, it, it's very shocking over, you know, in the city anywhere, period, but it's very shocking. Welcome to Explore Crimes. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. The case of Sade Robinson is a harrowing tale of sudden disappearance and the unsettling events that followed, casting a dark shadow over the community of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Sade, a 19-year-old college student, vanished under mysterious circumstances and the subsequent investigation quickly escalated into a suspected homicide involving disturbing discoveries. She was a driven and ambitious young woman, pursuing an associate degree in criminal justice at Milwaukee Area Technical College. Known for her bright personality and diligence, Sade balanced her academic pursuits with two jobs, one at a local restaurant called Pizza Shuttle and another as a hostess. Described by family and co-workers as joyful and hardworking, she was dedicated to building a promising future. Sade's disappearance occurred on April 1, 2024. She spent Easter Sunday with her family. The following morning, she spoke with her mother, Sheena, as she prepared for her day. She was later seen walking along North Commerce Street in Milwaukee, not far from where she worked. Alarmingly, she failed to show up for her shift at the restaurant, which was completely out of character for her. I was the manager on duty when she didn't show that day. It wasn't like her at all, and we, we kind of knew something was up. We had been calling her all day. Pizza Shuttle Catering Manager Justin Romano says Robinson always put a smile on her co-workers' faces. Very outgoing. She would talk to everybody here. She was always there to lighten the mood. The situation quickly escalated the next morning when her car was found abandoned and set on fire in an alley, about two miles from where she was last seen. That same day, a severed human leg was discovered at Warnemont Park, intensifying fears and leading the police to treat her case as a potential homicide. After the gruesome discovery of a severed leg, a thorough search of the surrounding area led to an even more alarming finding. Additional human remains scattered throughout the city. Despite these findings, investigators have not confirmed whether all the discovered body parts are connected, leaving the community in distress over the possibility of a serial offender at large. Family and friends of Sade Robinson conducted their own search in the vicinity where the leg was found. Their efforts led to the heart-wrenching discovery of a blanket belonging to Sade and a large bone. They started to lose hope of finding her alive. Our big story tonight, it's been more than a week since body parts started turning up in Milwaukee County, and we have yet to hear publicly from law enforcement. Meanwhile, a 19-year-old Milwaukee woman is missing. Her family telling 12 News they fear something terrible has happened. Day night, Fox 6 saw investigators searching the railroad tracks near 31st in Walnut. Milwaukee police now telling Fox 6 additional human remains were found at the location. Saturday, detectives were in the same area roping off the Galena playground after discovering human remains. The night before, police say a body part was found at Lisbon and 30th. And on April 2nd, a severed leg was found in Warnemont Park in Cudahy. Robinson's mother says that she's worried sick and heartbroken. So we spent Easter Sunday with my baby Sunday 
over here by my parents. Sheena Scarborough recalling the last time she saw her daughter, 19-year-old Sade Carlina Robinson. It was like, you know, a normal family visit. Like, we had a good engagement. Milwaukee police say someone last saw Sade the next day, Monday, April 1st, at her home near Commerce and Pleasant. Scarborough says she last heard from her daughter via text Monday afternoon. We talk every day. We're a very close-knit family. Scarborough says after Sade didn't show up for work Tuesday at Pizza Shuttle, a co-worker called Milwaukee police and asked them to do a welfare check. Police didn't find her, but Scarborough says detectives did find her daughter's car burnt near 30th and Lisbon. That's about two miles from her home. What do you think happened to her? Somebody harmed or hurt my daughter. Robinson was studying criminal justice at MATC, had two jobs, and was about to join the Air Force. Family says she wouldn't just go off on her own. Her family's begging for her safe return. She's scheduled to graduate next month. Her birthday is May the 10th. Shade Sheena, that's my baby. Emily, her mother says the last text message from her daughter seemed unusual. Yeah, her mom says that she asked for money, which is uncharacteristic of her. Tonight, investigators searching for clues in Milwaukee's Walnut Hill neighborhood. That is where someone found a human body part late last night. The family of a missing Milwaukee woman joining the search today, uncovering a new piece of evidence. 12 News reporter Emily Pofall on what they found. Milwaukee police swarming 31st and Walnut early Saturday morning, searching after someone found a human body part in the park. It's a block away from 30th and Lisbon, where witnesses say MPD and the sheriff's office were investigating a car fire earlier this week. It looks like somebody had started it. Um, nothing else was smoking outside the car, so it started in the inside. The car fire connected to a missing persons case. Family members of 19-year-old Sade Carlina Robinson tell 12 News her car was found burnt in an alley there Tuesday. Milwaukee police officers investigating again at 31st in Walnut Saturday night after family says new evidence might have been found in the missing persons case. After hearing about the body part in the park, Robinson's family and friends conducted a search of their own, eventually finding this blanket that family says belongs to Robinson in the same area the body part was found. We need y'all support to help and find more evidence. Thanks to these people out here, we, we found a little bit more evidence, but we still don't know everything. Milwaukee police have not connected Robinson's missing persons case to the body part found, but friends and family are fearing the worst. Well, you have to prepare for the worst and pray for the best. And worst case scenario, Sade's not with us no more. And right now, I just want justice for the person that did this to her because no human deserves to be have parts found in different parts of Wisconsin like this. There's a timeline of events. Sade Robinson went missing on April 1st. The next day, someone found a severed leg in Warnemont Park in Cudahy. Over the weekend, police found body parts over three straight days near 31st and Galena in Milwaukee. Maxwell Anderson was arrested as a person of interest on April 4th. Initially, investigators did not provide any information linking him directly to the disappearance of Shade Robinson. Investigators then searched a home near 39th in Oklahoma for more than 24 hours, calling it a homicide case. Surveillance video shows the Bowen police got to the home late Thursday afternoon. Investigators were in and out of the house yesterday. Deputies did arrest a person of interest Thursday. They did not say if the two body parts are linked or if they're linked to Robinson's missing person case. On April 12th, during a press conference, authorities confirmed that the human remains found were Sade's and that Anderson was responsible for Sade's disappearance and subsequent murder. This confirmation marked a significant development in the case, transitioning Anderson from a person of interest to a prime suspect formally implicated in the crime.
And this home is where prosecutors say Maxwell Anderson killed Sade Robinson after the two went on a date last Monday. A few blocks away is where Anderson was taken into custody a few days later. In moments, you will see new video of that arrest in progress. Now, this case is bringing into light the story that has simmered in the shadows for days. While a concerned family was looking for a missing woman, body parts were turning up all across the city of Milwaukee. And now we have more information on why. Sick son of a bitch. Hurt my baby. Sheena Scarborough did not hold back. Sick son of a bitch. Wanna pay. Her hatred for Maxwell Anderson was evident from the moment her daughter's alleged killer walked into the courtroom. Prosecutors say Anderson and Sade Robinson went out to two restaurants and bars the night of April 1st, then returned to Anderson's home on South 39th Street. They say at some point that night, Anderson killed Robinson, dismembered her body, then drove her car around while he scattered the body parts in various places. The allegations in the complaint are abhorrent. Um, it was the highest level of violence imaginable. Anderson also did Sade's car and lit it on fire. He spoke just once during Friday's hearing. Do you understand the maximum potential penalties? Yes, Your Honor. Anderson's attorney first tried to get the homicide charge thrown out. And there's nothing in here that says that she died at Mr. Anderson's home. Sade's mother again lashed out. So I'd ask you to dismiss that count before we address Sh Anderson's attorney then alluded to Anderson being innocent. Had Mr. Anderson been involved in this, this horrible tragedy, we would expect one to flee. But bail was ultimately set at $5 million. Sade's family had been searching for her ever since her disappearance. Authorities used phone records, surveillance video, and home security video to close in on Anderson. He was arrested Thursday, April 4th. Friday brought some answers for the family, but also more questions. What the do something like this to my beautiful baby? She hurt nobody. And little closure. Me and my family would never be okay. Imagine trying to bury your niece with nobody for the service. And prosecutors say there are still missing body parts as they continue to look for all the human remains from Sade Robinson. Maxwell Anderson will return to court one week from Monday. In a chilling development, prosecutors have charged Maxwell Anderson with first-degree intentional homicide, mutilation of a corpse, and arson linking him to a series of horrific events that unfolded in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The grim chain of events began with the discovery of a severed leg at Warnemont Park in Cudi, identified as belonging to 19-year-old Shade Robinson, who had been reported missing the previous day. Court documents revealed that Maxwell Anderson became a person of interest because he was reportedly the last person Shade was known to be with. Sade and Maxwell went out on their first date on April 1st, the day before Sade was reported missing. Sade, excited about her first date with him, had shared her plans with a worker at her apartment. Text exchanges confirmed the two planned to have dinner that evening, which they did at Twisted Fisherman on Canal Street. The evening progressed to a visit to Duke's on Water Sports Bar and a drive around the city, concluding at Anderson's residence on Milwaukee's south side. A detailed investigation followed, including surveillance footage from Anderson's neighborhood that captured movement in his backyard until approximately 12.45 a.m. on April 2nd. Shortly after, Sade's phone signal was traced moving across the city, ending up at Warnemont Park, where the severed leg was later found. Detectives discovered blood on the bedding and walls of Anderson's home, alongside several gasoline containers hinting at premeditated actions leading to the gruesome outcome. Disturbingly, the presence of what was described as a sex dungeon in his home was also noted, although its relevance to the case remains under scrutiny. The morning after their date, Shade's severely burned car was located near 29th and Galena Streets. Surveillance footage showed a man resembling Anderson igniting the car before fleeing the scene. This footage, combined with other evidence, led to Anderson's arrest on April 4th. Further investigations near where Sade's car was discovered revealed more human remains and what was identified as her belongings in the vicinity. These discoveries, along with the initial finding at Warnemont Park, were linked, confirming the remains as belonging to the same victim, Sade Robinson. In the wake of Sade Robinson's mysterious disappearance, 
her family, friends, and colleagues united with a single resolve to find her and seek justice. They worked diligently, organizing extensive search parties that scoured the city, distributing flyers, and maintaining a constant presence online to raise awareness about her case. This network of support extended beyond physical searches, offering emotional solace and logistical assistance to Sade's family during an excruciating period of uncertainty. Their tireless efforts were driven by a deep desire to bring closure to her loved ones and played a crucial role in solving the mystery of what had happened to Sade. This collective effort not only kept Sade's memory alive, but also underscored the community's dedication to supporting each other and confronting adversity together, ultimately contributing significantly to piecing together the events that led to her tragic fate. We are hearing from one of Sade's co-workers, Evelise Martinez, telling Miriam McCarr that she is now just heartbroken by this whole ordeal. Well, I got off of work for her because I would do anything for her because, like I said, she didn't deserve this. It was at Pizza Shuttle where Evelise Martinez worked alongside Sade for three years and says the 19-year-old was full of joy and love for her friends. She's just a generous person in general. Like, I don't remember one day that she was, you know, angry or upset. It's devastating. You always see this stuff on the news, but you never think it'd be one of your friends. Martinez showed me photos of her and Sade that bring her peace as the days carry on and her absence gets harder. It brings me more to heartbreak. Like, I, I still can't believe this is happening. It's not easy yeah. losing someone you love blood or not, you know. Friends has been hard on everyone who's worked with her for the past three years. We all worried about her. We scared. It's kind of hard to get through today. During a press conference, Milwaukee County Sheriff Danita Ball emphasized the belief that no other victims are involved and assured the public that the responsible individual has been apprehended. Maxwell Anderson's arrest and the evidence gathered against him paint a harrowing picture of what might have transpired that fateful night. While the legal proceedings are set to unfold, offering a glimmer of hope for justice, the tragedy has deeply affected those who knew Sade and the broader Milwaukee community. Sade's disappearance and the circumstances that followed serve as a somber reminder of the vulnerabilities and dangers that can unexpectedly arise, even in seemingly safe engagements like a first date. As the community mourns the loss of a young life full of potential, there is a collective call for heightened awareness and stronger safety measures to prevent such tragedies in the future. The road to closure is long and fraught with pain for Sade's family and friends, but it is hoped that justice will eventually prevail, bringing some solace to her loved ones and the community that has been shaken by this distressing series of events. Meanwhile, Milwaukee will remember Shade Robinson, not just for the manner of her untimely departure, but for the vibrancy and promise she embodied in her young life. Rest in peace, Shade Robinson. Thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video.